for him here tonight. And approaching the ring, representing the nation of domination, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 278 pounds, D'Lo Brown! Such emotion here. Yeah, what's gonna happen? They aren't going to wait. Nope, you're right, here we go! And there's the bell, and here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Quick thinking to avoid that. That shot was perfect. If you get hit with a lot more of those, getting nailed once turns into a full-scale beating. For those history buffs watching tonight, it's worth noting that D'Lo Brown was WWE's first ever Eurocontinental Champion, having held both the European and Intercontinental titles at the same time in 1999. Impressive indeed, and having held both those titles myself, I can attest to how difficult it is to win those championships, let alone hold them simultaneously. Hats off to D'Lo Brown. Well, let's quickly get your opinion on The Undertaker. Your Talking about someone who has all the talent necessary to become one of the all-time greats. Man, that got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. Right, and the message reads, P-A-I-N. Oh, look at the emotion. Getting back into the ring now. King, you can take a breath. Well, D'Lo Brown was the first ever Euro Continental Champion. One title he never held during his run in the 1990s and early 2000s was the Tag Team Championship. Despite a very successful pairing with his nation of domination partner, the Godfather. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. He just got laid out. And this heartless attack continues. Oh, man. This is getting tough to watch. You know, like you, Cole, I'm a little shocked that D'Lo Brown and the Godfather never reached the... The human spine's not meant to bend that way. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. And as we're seeing, Undertaker's better than just about anybody at using striking, grappling, and submissions to wear his opponents out. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. Sometimes the best offense is a great defense, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Look at D'Lo Brown here. Somebody's going to get hurt in this match. Well, you got to watch out for those soup bones when you're in the ring with Undertaker. Camel clutch! He needs to figure out a way to get to his base and break the hole. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. Looking to build momentum. It's nearly impossible to deal with this type of power. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action needs to be. I like it. Let's get this thing done inside the ring. 
Oh, wait, nice reversal. Snake Eyes, another Undertaker specialty you need to look out for when you're in the ring with the American Badass. And of course, Cole, Snake Eyes is almost always followed up by that big boot. The Undertaker hits him with a choke slam, and when he delivers that one, you're as good as gone. Yeah, you're never the same after one of those. Oh, no. We know what this is. Last ride. Undertaker with a huge move. And into the cover. Two. And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. Well, it's going to take more than that to keep him down tonight. And here comes Undertaker battling back. Well, that missed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Dilo Brown making his statement as we speak. There was no bigger announcement in the spring of two. Hoping it, and he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. That's the power of The Undertaker right there. Oh, out of nowhere. Oh, boy, is Dilo Brown a house of fire or what? Dilo moves so well in there for a big man. Oh, I know what this can lead to. All I'm going to say is you better be ready to be down with incredible move by D'Lo Brown. Going for the and a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. Undertaker was almost out right there. But we're not going to see the slightest hint of retreat from the Phenom. Not this. He's looking at it again. Oh, my. The Undertaker. Somebody's going to get hurt in this match. When we speak about The Undertaker and his battles as the American badass, one of the most grueling we're reminded of is his conflict. Another tombstone pile driver by the dead man. Makes the cut. One, two, three. He did it. What a huge win. I can't believe what we just saw. And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. Oh, those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. And here's some highlights from the matchup. Here's your winner, representing the Brothers of Destruction, the Undertaker. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him. That was an incredible match. An incredible match and a big, big victory. I don't care how many wins.